People think I'm damaged goods. I'm worried about losing my job. Will I ever get a transplant? I want to see my children graduate from college. How can I afford this? I don't want to be a burden. I'm afraid. I'm overwhelmed with information. Sometimes I wonder if I'll ever fall in love and get married. I just want to play with my friends. You're listening to Kidney Talk, streaming health, happiness, and hope to the renal community with your hosts, Lori Hartwell and Stephen First. Well, today, Stephen, we have a great, exciting show planned, and it's all about personalities. Oh, my gosh. And I I can't stand personalities because I only like my personality. And it's going to help us define what personalities different people have and how we can interact with them and you know what do you think your personality is i think i'm a, i'm a pretty easygoing person you know my personality's changed over the years cuz i used to be totally neurotic about everything used everything to be? Yeah, everything i used to be neurotic what are you talking about <laughs> but now like nothing bothers me and i think actually having kidney disease has changed that well it does make you realize what's important in life but the guest we have today is Bill Gallagher. I and love Bill Gallagher. I love Bill Gallagher too because he taught me about I'm a red yellow personality. You're red yellow? I'm re- red no actually I'm yellow red. Yellow Very red. Very important. Yes. Yellow red. Yes, I'm, I'm even in yellow and red categories which makes me an interesting and mix. And what does that mean? I'm I guess not we'll find out, from Bill we're find out from Bill Gallagher. We're going to find out from Bill Gallagher. He um, has this great speaking career and he goes around the country talking to people about how to communicate effectively with different personality types to maximize your communication skills. So we need to learn how to communicate effectively because you may be a blue or green or red or yellow. I'm not sure, but we're going to find out when we come back. So we'll be back with Bill Gallagher. I couldn't have said it better. We'll be back with Bill Gallagher. I did say it better. Well, now that I have mastered Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, how many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? Let's see what my next challenge will be. It's in here somewhere. Let's try. Okay. Hmm. Say this three times fast. Fistula first feels fantastic for future fitness. Fistula first feels fantastic for future fitness. Fistula first feels fantastic for future fitness. Now if I only knew what that means. A fistula should be your first choice for your dialysis access. It says here, less infection and less hospitalizations. That's good. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Lasts longer. Some patients have had their fistula for more than 30 years? Oy. Sounds like a no-brainer to me. Fistula first feels fantastic for future fitness. For more information, please visit fistulafirst.org. Do it now. But I see your truth. So we're here with Bill Gallagher, and he's had over 25 years of experience with different personalities. Welcome to the show, Bill. Thank you, Lori. Hey, nice what kind of here. personality do you have? Well, <laughs> um, I'm actually what is referred to as a yellow, and that means that You're I'm... You're scared of everything? Put, not scared of it. <laughs> no, not that kind of yellow. But pretty much optimistic and spontaneous, a tad unorganized, impulsive, I love people... Um, just kind of a bubbly kind of guy. Now, do you like every kind of person? Because there's some pre- people I can't oh, stand. Oh, no, 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 no. And this is why the personality differences material is so important in healthcare. Um, because what it teaches you to do is how to have more tolerance and understanding for people who are not like you. So what are the four different types of personalities that you speak about? I mean, I said red, yellow, green, blue, but give us a little bit more information And, about and what that. do those colors mean? I mean, nobody, if you say you're a yellow personality, nobody's going to know what you mean until okay. you explain it like you well, did. Well, let me give you a little bit of history. Actually, this particular theory of Does it involve per- like color, Christopher Columbus and stuff like that? No, none of that. <laughs> okay. No flags involved here. All right. But uh, the original theory came from the father of medicine, Hippocrates, 
uh, 400 years BC. And he said that there were four different categories of people and how they behave differently because of, it's kind of gross, different bodily fluid levels. And so the medical terms that he came up originally with was choleric, and he said that because they had more black bile, they were kind of more hot-tempered and passionate and intense, and he called them cholerics. He said melancholy people um, had a tendency to be more artistic, uh, sometimes occasionally more moody, uh, have a sense of being overwhelmed at times and very perfectionistic. Then for those that were kind of uh, bubbly and optimistic, as I was saying to myself uh, recent, uh, just a moment ago, he called those people sanguines because they had richer blood. And then lastly, the fourth category of person was the phlegmatic. What do you think bodily fluid that referred <laughs> Phlegm. to? Phlegm. Phlegm, <laughs> i.e. slow moving. And those people were very casual, relaxed, very methodical, kicked back. And so those are the four original Greek terms that founded this theory many, many years ago. So what happens if you're, you know, you've got really rich blood and you're one type and you develop a cold and you start to get phlegm and everything, do you, do you change personalities or what? I don't think what? that changes your personality, but it certainly may make you all of a sudden feel like you're more phlegmatic. Wow. Slow moving, not yes. feeling that well. So what I've done, Lori, to answer your question, is the material that I have, I have personality profiles. They're instruments people can take to find out who they are. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're laid out in different color categories. People don't like to deal with these medical weird... Phlegmatic. Yeah, phlegm these weird phlegm terms. Phlegmatic so, is phleg what color? Phlegmatic is a green. Okay. Those are the people that are listening today that are very casual and relaxed. If you ask them where they want to go for dinner, they will always say, I don't care. Where do you want to go? They seem to <laughs> I just hate blow. those people. You want those a are the people I hate. You want a decision. Well, and then what? when you make a decision, they go, yeah, I don't yeah, feel I don't like, that. like that. Yeah. And then the melancholies, I refer to them as the blues. Those are the ones that have perfectionistic standards. We find a lot of them in healthcare and in dialysis, a lot of technicians, That's a lot an of important nurses. thing. We want them to be perfectionists. We don't want them to make mistakes on dialysis equipment or in the process. And so then the, the reds are referred to as cholerics. We find a lot of them in administration, CEOs, they're bottom line people, they're very driven. That's I'm your red. second color, that's Lori. A, you're, you're I'm so a red, red. yellow. You're I'm even, a red yellow. Yeah, that's right. And then yellow <laughs> is the optimistic, um, fun loving, marketing, sales, loves people. So your mix, Lori, your yellow red mix is excellent because you have the love for people and the communication skills, but yet you have the drive and the ambition of a red. So, so that's a perfect mix for what so you do. So do it my way and let's have fun. And let's She's have fun a... while we're doing it my way. Yeah, <laughs> that's, right. that's right. Lori is a rainbow of expertise. Well, I'm upset that they don't have purple since Renal Support Network is purple. Yeah, what does that well, that's mean? That's a blue-red mix anyway. It's a blue, oh, that's, that's right. Don't you know your primary I colors? I don't. I, oh, my I'm God. Now, what now color I do. do you think you are? Though? I think I'm, I'm every color in the rainbow because I'm like spacey. I go off in different tangents. I do think I'm, I'm kind of like Lori and everything, except when we arm wrestle. I think and you're you, a, a yellow, you know why? Why? You're wearing a Hawaiian shirt. You know, I just bought Yellows this Yellows are colorful and flashy. Although I wear black so, yeah. a lot, too. Yeah, maybe so, that's on your blue day when you're not feeling as good. Oh, it's, it's on my days when you I feel see fat because I want to look thinner with You should black. see his hot pink with pink polka dots oh, and see, red that, dots. See, I mean, all, it's a neat shirt. Only a, a true yellow shirt. would wear that kind of hey, What are the biggest <laughs> obstacles of communication between like staff and patients and everything? You know, because I know sometimes I, I can't communicate with especially some of the nurses or the office help. I always seem to have a good relationship with the doctor. But not with the office help or, or uh, I, I What happens? I don't, I don't the administrative they, help? Yeah, I don't think they like to be called help. Yeah, that know? might be one of that your biggest obstacles. That might be the reason why they don't like me. Yeah. You know? but well, what, well, what well I think it all depends on the personality of the patient and the personality of the staff. So, for example, if you have a red staff member, they're generally in administration, um, they're not given to a lot of chit-chat. They put a high premium on production. 
they just pretty much want to deal with the cold hard facts and they're very good at what they do and they're very technical at what they do but they're not the ones that are going to stand around and establish a relationship with the patient so if we ask them um, or if we want to tell them how we feel they may not be so apt to want to listen to us so as a patient, they want the facts it, well what's your lab work we don't really want to know what you know understand how you feel that's right we a, want to a know red staff member wouldn't give a lot of attention to a patient's uh, statements such as that's unfair that they can be at that station and I'm at this pod they don't do fairness but you need the yellow they, to, to troubleshoot that one right yeah that's right you need a, a yellow to uh, a, a yellow staff member would be very understanding of that because um, um, the feeling of family around the unit is very very important but a red staff member wouldn't give much attention to fairness to feelings to whiny um, they want more nuts and bolts facts of what you're trying to say. But they make programs move because they're... They are the administrative arm of uh, our country, actually, and they are the visionaries and administrators and they make things happen. Now, you know, the thing that I have the most problem with is that sometimes the staff do not empathize enough with the patients. They don't have yes. any idea what the patient is going through. Right. And they don't want to hear your complaints, right. but they don't know what it's like to be in our shoes. Absolutely. And I think that's the biggest problem. That's what pisses me off the most. Well, you know, that's He's why... He's showing his red right now, isn't that, he? It's or is that off, phlegm? Sure. What well, color well, no, would that no, be? No, oh, that's, that's green. Oh, that okay, way. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, that's the precise reason, interestingly enough, that you make that notation, that I just wrote an article for kidneytalk.com. Because the article was I written to kidneytalk.com. It's, it's actually kidneytimes.com. Oh, kidneytimes.com. I, I love oh, kidneytimes.com. <laughs> okay, of course I'm a yellow and I don't remember those details. But, uh, <laughs> but the article is entitled How to Connect with Your Patient's Personality. So the motivation of this article is for staff members to learn how to emphasize based on who they're working with at the time. Right. For example, if you uh, are a staff member and you have a red patient, well, you need to know that they like to participate and have as much control as their, of their care as possible. And so if the patient is dealing with a red staff member, how do we relate to them? I mean, what do we do to get them to do what we want? Because <laughs> I'm a red. <laughs> well, well, you certainly can appeal to them because you both think the same and see life the same way. Um, they would understand it if you said, I want to participate in my own care as much as possible. They would respect that, actually. Okay, so a that would be a good that. opening if you, you're dealing with a red professional personality is to appeal to their, um, instead of saying, this is how I feel, make yeah. a statement, like say, look, I want to participate in my care, and this is what I need you to do for me to effectively participate That's in right, my care. That's right, because they want, people to, they want to see people pull their own weight. They don't want to see people uh, whine or complain a lot. They are very solution oriented. They like it when people are willing to dig in and make things happen. So all of those kinds of phrases and appeals would work for a red staff okay. member. So if you are having a problem uh, with a, a staff member yeah. and you can't seem to resolve it, you know, do you change your personality? Do you, is, what are the tactics well, 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 uh, to uh, manipulate uh, them to do what you want them to do? Well, the, the tactic <laughs> is find out if you can, just by way of studying this material, find out what their personality type and right. start talking their personality language. Well, that's so what good. if they're green? I mean, if you have a green staff member, which is somebody who doesn't want to make decisions, and I think I've run into some of them in my life, like, oh, okay, well, I want to travel somewhere. Well, okay, you figure it out where you want to go. They put the burden on the, they don't give you enough direction. So what do you do in that situation? Well, what I would do is, first of all, green staff members are not very quick on their feet, um, uh, verbally or with decisions. They're the most indecisive color at all, of all. And so give them some ideas to think about. Okay. Say, I've been thinking, I've been considering doing this, or I've been thinking about this procedure, or my, I, I'd like to give you my advice in this area, or, and give them a couple of days to process 
and then they'll probably come back with the right solution. Well, it's a but good thing you, you don't want, need them for dialysis and emergency exactly, or something. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but if I'll you want back. them to be quick on their feet with an answer right now, forget it. Okay, okay so when we up. come back, we're going to get some more quick on your feet answers. You know, I figured we could challenge uh, our, our staff to like a Scrabble game, especially the greens, because <laughs> they always take so long you can automatically win. And I see your true colors shining through. I see your true colors. That's why I love you. So don't be afraid to let it show. Hello. Hey, Betty. Mary and I are going to lunch at that new Italian restaurant across from the mall. You're dying to go to that place. I hear they got great salads. Then the three of us can do a little shopping across the street and just have a girl's day out. Mm, that sounds like fun. I can't wait. Meet us at 12.30 at Tuscany's. Ugh. Wait a second. Today's Thursday. I've got dialysis. <sighs> just go in early. <laughs> are you kidding? They are so strict about the times, and besides, they're all full all day. Maybe next time. I'll tell you about the restaurant and what Mary and I bought at the mall. Such a good friend. <sighs> There's got to be a better way. Instead of next time, how about next stage? What Betty doesn't know is there is a better way. The Next Stage System 1, the first truly portable home hemodialysis machine, can help you take back your life and set your own schedule for home hemodialysis treatments. After a short training period for you and a partner, you have your own portable dialysis machine right in your own home. All of your supplies are delivered to your doorstep. Taking back your life and setting your own schedule are just part of it. Doing dialysis at home also allows for more frequent dialysis, which better imitates the function of a normal kidney. Many patients doing more frequent dialysis report that they have more energy and feel better. Want to travel? With your doctor's prescription, Next Stage can support travel anywhere in the continental U.S. The Next Stage machine is about the size of a 13-inch TV and has a sturdy travel case available, and all your supplies will be delivered to your destination. So schedule dialysis around your life instead of your life around dialysis. Ask your doctor if home hemodialysis with the Next Stage System 1 is right for you. For more information, call Next Stage at 1-866-NX-STAGE or visit www.nextstage.com. But I see your true colors shining through. I see your true colors. And that's why I love you. So don't be afraid to let them show your true colors. True colors are beautiful like a rainbow. Well, now we encounter blue staff members sometimes. Give us a little bit about what a blue staff member is, and then also the color combinations sometimes overlap. So they might have a little bit of blue, a little bit of green, a little bit of red, and what that means. It's important <laughs> to establish what their primary personality type is because that's where you're going to pick up on their strengths and weaknesses. A blue staff member is a technician or an RN that refuses to do anything unless it is by the book. I hate those kind of they people. They will not cut corners. You hate everybody. <laughs> <laughs> they will not cut corners. They are up on the most recent policy and procedure. They know what's going on in the law. They will not uh, bend or cut corners. But you might as well have a robot instead of a human being. No, so well, you actually want a healthcare professional that won't cut corners. I want somebody not who that goes, won't cut corners, but they got to be flexible. Or you know, but not, not on every healthcare. patient is. Hey, I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> not on healthcare. I mean, maybe on some different issues, no, but you I'm don't want them saying, cutting corners on healthcare. No, I'm not saying, hey, let's cut your pill in half because the hospital's trying to save money. I'm talking about some, you know, they gotta, you know, go with the flow with the, what the patient feels sometimes. Sometimes the patient doesn't feel like eating his his lunch between 12 and 12.30, yeah. so can you leave the tray? Right. Actually, I'm talking about that's stuff very like good that. advice. Probably the things that I suggest that blue uh, people, melancholy people work on the most is learning how to be, be flexible because they are so by the calendar and by the book, there's very, very little give and flex. Now, of course, I've often said, if I'm gonna have brain surgery or, I, or, or a kidney transplant, I want a blue surgeon. Because yeah, you they'll want to take be precise. hours to do it exactly precisely by the book. 
But I think you can have both. I think you can have somebody who's flexible with that's not going to hurt you, but that's also, you know. So you need them to have a blue, predominantly blue, but have a little yellow or so? What would be the second color? Well, actually, blue people, uh, melancholy people are also very compassionate as well. Okay. So it actually it is probably one of the more leading personality types in healthcare because they have a mix of the technical policy procedures stuff, um, but they're also very compassionate people as well. Uh, we just hope that it's a good mix. So if you had to stereotype the healthcare professional, the doctor, the nurse, the social worker, the dietitian, what colors should they be? Well, if I was a stereotype, and of course this is not 100% foolproof, but I find a lot of physicians that are red. Okay. I find most. Do it red my again? way. Uh, red, red is choleric. Bottom line, no chit chat. Do it my way. Really, I uh, hate doctors like yeah, that. Yes, uh, and it is about it is about production. Uh, a lot of physicians are red. A lot of okay. entrepreneurs are red, and it, they they got as far as they did because they were red. So I would say a lot of physicians are red. Not all. Of we course. tell the greens what to do, right? Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> I find that a lot of nurses are blue. Okay. Therein you have clash, so you have a lot of uh, sensitive. Do it the right way. Do it the right way. The reds okay. say do it my way. The blues say do it the right way, and of course the reds say well my way is the right way, and then you have a problem. There. But uh, <laughs> so I would say a lot of nurses are blue. My wife is a, 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 a in dialysis. She's blue. Um, she's I would, on dialysis. She's or? in dialysis. Oh, she's she, in she's, dialysis. She's a nurse manager in home dialysis in Southern Oregon, <laughs> and she's very technical and she's very blue. I would say that all, most of the social workers are going to be green, green or yellow. Right. Now, do you yes. find that married people are opposite colors or kind of alike colors? Well, it's interesting because um, there's a couple of theories. A lot of people on their first marriages mm-hmm. marry extreme opposites. And uh, unless they really understand the strengths and weaknesses of each colors, they can have a lot of conflict. So oftentimes when people get married the second time, they marry people that are a little bit more like them. Well, oh, what okay. do you think is more successful, though? Because the divorce rate for second marriages are much higher than the first marriage. Well, that's what they say. Although I, I've talked to many people that enjoy their second marriage, which I'm not promoting divorce and remarriage. <laughs> Let me guess. By the way, I also do divorce recovery workshops. Oh, okay. That's a different day. Let different me guess. Day. You are married a second time. Correct? I'm married a second time. See, I told you. Yeah, much, we've both I'm, been married once. So. I, I'm, I must say, interestingly enough, well, now, now that you now brought what? it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a yellow. My first wife was a red. Uh, there was clash there mm-hmm. because she was very driven and I was more fun-loving and playful. So if, if the personality differences are not understood, reds and yellows can clash. Mm-hmm. My, my wife now, um, the stepmother of my children, is a blue. A yellow and blue is a natural mix, and I can feel the difference, believe me. Because we're both emotional and we see life through an artistic, creative, loving lens. Well, my husband's a green. Does that make sense? Yes, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Actually, that's a good mix. The yellow-green's a good mix because uh, the greens don't mind being told what to do. The yellows actually keep the uh, house lively and playful. Well, And the I, greens don't mind following. Well, it's good. That we, my wife is basically totally insane so uh that helps right away because i don't pay any attention to her because you know you don't pay attention to insane people well you know what i also have a counseling <laughs> service if you'd like to go on <laughs> no we're perfect we're but perfect, we're perfect. i've been married we're 30 perfect. years and you know it couldn't be better because we don't talk to each other <laughs> no, yeah. just well joking. do you notice that patients in general and you've probably worked with different ones is that there's different personality types but do you tend to see that there's a certain color that shows that a patient's going to take charge is the same personality colors. Can greens be advocates for themselves or do they need more help? I think greens, because they're indecisive and they're a lot of times not as highly motivated, um, they may need uh, health care in terms of being pointed in the right direction. Right. I would probably say that a blue would be very, very much up on their care. I mean, they would have everything divided out and categorized and calendared they wouldn't they would eat appropriately generally blues would Um, uh, yellows would probably do okay Uh, a yellow on a dialysis floor you need to know that's his family so it's all about relationships and and yellows are so positive that even dialysis can be a positive experience for a yellow 
on most days, not and all And what days. about Reds who are on dialysis? I, I would say Reds. They want control, right? They want control. They are going to make this thing happen. They will get through it. They're not going to roll over and die. They're just not going to. They're going right. to take. They're going to take life by the throat and deal with their own treatments. So when you're a little kid and you're going to play a board game, and yeah. there's those little little cones, you know, that you you pick, and there's four colors. Yes. Does it say anything about you as a child if you want to be a certain color? No, I don't think so. I, no. I, I don't think well, so. that blew my theory out of the <laughs> That's right, that's right. Well, one of the things I read in your material about green people yeah. is that they're from they're outer space. <laughs> <laughs> they're often overlooked. If you give them the information, they have some of the best information oh. to come back with. They're the ones who really think and ponder and can come back with the most brilliant answer if you give them the chance. That's why I say that to those in dialysis, in that article that I wrote for kidneytimes.com, um, to please listen carefully to your green patients because they say, let's do it the easy way. And so they have a methodical clarity of purpose that is so solid and so solution oriented and so simple. It's just that the other colors, red, blues, and yellows, we won't shut up long enough <laughs> to listen to is these Is that true? People. I don't believe you at all. I don't believe you at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and so, you know, if you're having a round table discussion about a problem in the organization, usually reds come to the table with the answer. The blues predicate their answer on how it's going to impact everybody's feelings around the table. The yellows can't wait for the break. The greens don't say anything for about a half hour. And when they finally speak up, everybody looks at them and says, where'd that come from? Because it is the solution we're looking for. Wow. So you need all colors to have a successful community. I think every color has strengths and weaknesses. And I think to have a successful dialysis clinic, group of patients, all colors must be represented. We will have a rainbow coalition of dialysis. There you yes. go. There you so go. thank you so much for coming in. I, I took thank your you personality much. test. I actually failed it, but uh, <laughs> uh, it was great. And, and Lori is green and yellow and she's every color. But thank you so much for coming in. This was thank so you interesting. Yes. Having me and, and do you want to mention your website? And yes, if anybody I, wants I, to I, find out information. Yeah, be a red, mention your website. Uh, okay, <laughs> it's a teamworks-works.com. And if people log on to my web, they can actually take my personality profile right online. Okay, so it's teamworks-works.com. And it's so only $5.99 plus shipping and handling, right? <laughs> no, it's free. Actually. Oh, it's they free. It online, yeah. Oh, my God. I love free personality tests. Oh, I just love pretzels. Let's, let me see here. One serving is six pretzels? What, are they kidding me? Who only ate six pretzels? I have to stay on my renal diet. I know. I can bite part of one pretzel, then bite the side of another pretzel, and then I hook them together, and I can count that as one pretzel. Mm. Boy, that was good. You know what I love now? A big gulp. Now if I fill it up halfway, and then drink it, and refill it to the top... Now that won't count towards my daily fluid intake. Or will it? Make the connection. Eating high-sodium foods makes you thirsty, which will make you retain more fluids. Do you want to share a tip on how to stay within your fluid limit? Email us at kidneytalk at rsnhope.org, and we'll let our listeners in on your different tips. And I'll see your truth. was so interesting. It what personality was, now it? you are? You're a red, right? I'm a red-yellow. I yeah. think um, even in both categories when I took the test, but I have a couple of points higher in red than yellow. Yeah, and what do you think that guy was? Oh, Bill? No, no, the other guy. The, the man who brought me my hamburger who was here for five seconds. Yes, of course. The man we just spent the last 30 minutes with. Well, he with. said he was yellow. Oh, he said he was yeah, But you know, yes. you can't trust that guy. <laughs> Yeah, you know, he wrote a personality test. Let me test. see, which color is, is do not trust people? Oh, that's uh, me. That's uh, pink. 
It's pink. Yes. Well, I think you are a yellow. Am I a yellow? Yes. I, I think it depends on my mood. I mean, sometimes I'm very forceful, and other times I'm very submissive. I don't like to. I don't like confrontation unless I have to. Okay, so you might be some green in you too. I don't. Maybe I you're think yellow I'm everything. Green. That's why I don't understand how you can label somebody a certain color just one color. Well, I think you're more than one color. He's talking about what's your predominant color. Well, that's so true. So there's shades of all color, but I have to agree. When I read the personality test and I took it, I'm like, I'm a red yellow. You, I you really knew right am. Away. Yeah. I really am. And yeah. my husband is a green, and his second one is blue. Yeah, your and husband so is. So we is, have a rainbow coalition he's aqua. between the I two mean, of us. I never hear your husband <laughs> speak, although because. I never I, hear you he, stop speaking. We can control our own destiny. We can take charge of our health and ask questions about our medical options. We can form partnerships with our health care team. We can take steps towards self-improvement. We can be sensitive to the impact of our disease on our family. We can sing, dance, laugh, and enjoy our lives. We can appreciate today and look forward to tomorrow. We can help and support our fellow patients. We can pursue our hopes and dreams. We can make a difference. Renal Support Network would like to thank everyone who has made this show possible. Kidney Talk's founding sponsor is Amgen. Generous support is provided by Roche Pharmaceuticals and Astellas. Friends of Kidney Talk are Abbott Laboratories, American Region, and Fresenius Medical Care North America. Thank you for helping us stream health, happiness, and hope to the kidney community. Visit rsnhope.org for more information. The opinions, recommendations, statements, and advice contained on Kidney Talk are for information only. You should not use the information on the show to diagnose or treat a health problem or disease without first consulting with a qualified health care provider. Please consult with your health care provider about any questions or concerns you may have regarding your condition or dietary regimen.